All right, my next step is to insert a text box and I'll show you how to insert an image and make it what you want it to be. All right, so that this is my poster and I want to make it bigger, I can certainly do that. Um, you can also just leave it the way it is. The text boxes are right here and if you click on it and stretch it out right there, then what you'll be doing is adding your sentences that you worked on earlier. The governor of Minnesota, and governor is a proper noun, so I'm going to go back and capitalize that, is Tim Waltz. So this seems to me like it would be the government section, so I'm going to type in government. And as part of my text box, I'm just going to bold that text. All of the things to edit your text are right up in this section. And this is where you can change the font as well. I do like this Chelsea Market, but I know I need something that's readable for the rest of mine. And Chelsea Market is just kind of a fancy text. So I'll find something that works. I'm going to make this text a little bit smaller. The U.S. Senators are Amy Klobuchar and, oh, and Tina Smith. There are eight U.S. representatives. And so once I'm done typing the information, I maybe want to move it around a little bit. I maybe would like to make it thinner. I maybe want to make a bullet point. I'm going to make it as wide as it needs to be to get that T up on the first line. And then right here, we will insert a photo. And to do that, I'm going to go to the Explore button. I'll type in Tim Waltz. Tim, not time, Tim Waltz. And what I'm looking for is this picture right here, images. So let's see if I can find a good image. There he is. So I'm going to select that image and press insert and move him over to this corner of my poster. Now you can see you might be doing a little bit of size changing, a little bit of font changing. You can decide how you want to do that if you want to do one section at a time or if you want to make it all fit at the end. Um, so here's my government section. On your list you've got a bunch of different sections, the economy, famous people. Um, if I just click back on this slide, I can change the background color to something that looks really good, like a gradient, and then knowing that it's going to be that frosty, frosty blue, I might pick this color and see how that looks. For this black text, it doesn't look great. So I will make it white and play with that. Text color is always this underlined A. So let's try white. Oh, and that's a little easier to read. I might change the text, but you get the idea. So now I have word art, I have a text box, and I have a photo.